the sublime sanctuary, my beloved Muhammad, to those who doubt the authenticity of the Holy Quran or the Holy Torah that preceded it, present this test of sincerity. If you are really concerned with truth, then seek out another book of revelation that flows more clearly from the source of wisdom and dedicate your lives to those teachings. If those who doubt you find no response to this proposal, they are just doubting for the sake of doubting. The most dangerous illusion is to follow subjective impulses, such as doubt, while ignoring the guidance of Allah most merciful that streams abundantly through his noble messengers. Yet this precious living guidance cannot be recognized or received by those who have heedlessly turned away from the source of guidance. Through you, my beloved, the ever-present source, who is now speaking, has once more offered words of truth to humanity, awakening again the life-giving remembrance of Allah Most High. There are certain souls who have already received from the source of love mystical imitations of this resonant and radiant Quran. When my divine words are first chanted in their presence, these souls of love spontaneously exclaim, We trust this revelation implicitly without any doubt. This is the living truth, radiating directly from the source of truth, even before hearing these incomparable words of power. We had already surrendered our entire being to their source. These servants of love will receive more blessings than anyone can imagine for the suffering they patiently endure as they meet hostility and aggression with sheer goodness of heart and as they constantly share with others whatever wealth the source of abundance has provided for them whenever the lovers of divine love encounter foolish or even der derisive remarks. They turn aside calmly with these gracious words. We are dedicated to our way of life and you to yours. May the peace of Allah Most High be with you. We could not bear your mode of existence that ignores the source of existence. My beloved one, you know that you are not guiding the persons whom you choose, but that the source of light guides through you the persons whom Allah chooses. The source of wisdom alone knows per per precisely which beings are open to the highest wisdom. Certain pragmatic persons will confront you in this way. Were we to follow completely the path of this guidance which you appear to receive from Allah, we have culminated these are the hypocritical ones who, when attempting to please Allah Most High, are really seeking to please themselves. Such narrowly calculating minds cannot understand that the ultimate source has established through my beloved servant and messenger a sanctuary of absolute spiritual protection, where the finest fruits of life have been gathered as a gift to humanity from the source of love. How few human beings consciously enter this sublime sanctuary. Meditation on Holy Quran 28, 49-57 Day of Union Do your people imagine that merely by claiming to believe without further suffering and testing, they will be counted among the blessed ones who turn their whole being toward the source and goal of being? The Ever-present, source leads even the most deeply devoted souls through constant spiritual tests, helping them to assay accurately whether they can live as well as contemplated, contemplate the highest truth. Through such trials, subtle traces of hypocrisy are exposed and healed. Do those who secretly turn away from Allah Most High imagine that they are confounding the source of wisdom with their empty profession or belief? How superficial is the understanding of those whose religion remains conventional? My beloved one, as for those among your people who genuinely long to discover the source of love, you may assure them that their day of encounter and union is rapidly approaching. 
For Allah, most wise, is the embracing awareness who already knows from within every desire of the heart. Please take clear to your people that whoever struggles to live the holy way of life is doing so for spiritual development alone, not for the benefit of Allah Most High, who is absolute completeness and therefore does not need the submission or praise of any creature. Inform your people that those who turn with selfless devotion toward the source of love with no reason other than love, and who confirms this by transforming their entire lives into transparent expressions of love, will be forgiven every negative thought and action. By the blessing of Allah, these lovers will be brought entirely into accord with their own highest intentions and ideas. The source of love has always taught human beings to express obedience and loving-kindness to their mothers and fathers. However, if parents attempt to divert children from commitment to the one source by insisting on the worship or service of any limited sources, forces, or concepts, such parents can be loved but no longer obeyed. On the day of union, when loving souls return into the source of love, they will experience perfect clarity regarding every detail of their earthly pilgrimage. On that infinite day, those whose hearts and minds have affirmed the ultimate source and whose daily existence has expressed this affirmation in action will be led by Allah Most Sublime into the highest circle of spiritual companions who are perfectly united with each other and merged entirely in divine love. Meditation on Holy Quran 29, 2-9 Spiderwebs. Those who seek protection and guidance by contacting various forces on the subtle planes of existence, thereby turning the face of their being away from the source of being, are weaving spiderwebs of etheric energy and attempting to take refuge there. The floating abode of the spider is the most vulnerable of dwelling places. Those who rely for strength on the glossomer web of Relative structures and experiences should meditate on its insubstantiality. Allah Most High knows instantly when any being places the highest spiritual reliance on any limited power or conception. For Allah is boundless and encompassing awareness. My beloved, the source of wisdom sends these living parables through you to illumine humanity, but no one can understand them profoundly who has not received the divine gift of mystical interpretation. The full spectrum of heavenly and earthly realms radiates from the source of truth as the pure and harmonious expression of truth. Therefore, every being and every event present, subtle teachings of those who are turned consciously toward their own true source. Meditation on Holy Quran 29, 41-44 Demonstrations of Power and Love among the demonstrations of power and flow continuously from the source of power is the creation of marvelous, marvelous human organisms simply from substances of the earth. Consider how many of these precious human forms are scattered across the entire planet. Among the demonstrations of love that flow continuously from the source of love is the creation for every human being of an intimately related partner in life providing communion, strength, and repose. Allah Most High has established between wife and husband and possibility for truly selfless compassion and profound love. The relationship of marriage contains deep sp spiritual teaching for those who contemplate deeply. Among the demonstrations of power that flow continuously from the source of power is the creation of being itself as a sort of structure of heavenly and earthly planes containing an inexhaustible variety of languages and life forms. The entire realm of life becomes profound spiritual teaching for those who contemplate profoundly. Among the demonstrations of love that flow continuously from the source of love is the peaceful sleep by which beings are refreshed at night or during the day. Thus the natural activities of daily existence, all the way that conscious beings instinctively and intuitively reach out for the gracious and abundant gifts of Allah become clear spiritual teaching for those who perceive clearly. 
Among the demonstrations of power that flow continuously from the source of power are lightning bolts that fall from the stormy sky, awakening all of Allah Most High and the expectation of life-giving rain, the pure rainwater which through the blessing of Allah showered so abundantly upon this earth bringing what is dry and withered back to life presents signs of revelation and res resurrection into paradise to those who meditate truly. Among the demonstrations of love that flow continuously from the source of love is the entire universe remains poised, waiting for the call of Allah, ready to return into its original source. When the mystic call of the ever-present source is heard by human beings, they emerge gloriously from the veils of limitation into the limitless radiance of Allah. Meditation on Holy Quran 30, 20-25 One vast soul. All that is manifested in the heavenly and earthly remains, realms, emanates directly from the ultimate source. And Allah Most High, who needs absolutely nothing, is all that any being ever needs. Allah alone receives into His depth the rivers of praise that flow spontaneously from the mind and hearts of living beings. Were all the trees on earth to serve as pens and were the seven seas to become dark blue ink, the words of truth that flow eternity from the transcendent Quran could ever be recorded, for Allah is boundless power and complete wisdom. The physical creation and spiritual resurrection of humanity is but the career of one vast soul. The entire drama of this single soul serves only to express the divine attributes of the hidden treasure of love, the one who sees all and hears all. Meditation on Holy Quran 31, 26-28 Lovers of Allah, those who have truly assimilated the demonstrations of love that flow from the source of love will spontaneously place their foreheads heads on the ground lost in adoration whenever they are reminded of divine love these lovers of allah most sublime will effortlessly chant eloquent hymns of praise free from any pride in their power and beauty of their words liberated from even the slightest awareness of their own limited selves immersed constantly in my love scorning none of my creatures Though these lovers scarcely sleep, so devoted are they to the practice of prayer, invoking Allah Most High throughout the night with ecstatic expectancy and awe. During the day, they tirelessly share with all beings whatever abundance the source of life has provided for them. No one can imagine what spiritual sweetness and repose are experienced by these lovers inwardly as my direct response to their lives of dedication and generosity. Meditation on Holy Quran, 32, 15-17 Pure Peace My cherished ones who have completely or orientated your lives to the source of life, remain immersed, always in the silent remembrance of Allah Most High. During the prayers at dawn and dusk, pour forth from your lips the most sweet and glorious praises. It is the one source who blesses you with the inward experience of bliss, sometimes touching you through luminous, angelic beings to guide you from the shadows of the limited self into the clear light of the source. Those who turn constantly in toward their own true source experience the ever-present source as the most delic delicate mercy and the most tender love, awakening from the sleep of death into the infinite day of truth. These souls will be greeted intimately by Allah most merciful with the supreme salutation. May you abide in my peace with boundless generosity. The source of peace receives these dedicated souls into its own pure peace. Meditation on Holy Quran 33.41-44 The Loving Embrace of Allah the voice of truth has never called and sent a prophet to warn any nation without those who live there in the ease of power and authority rejecting his messenger. To the noble prophets sent by Allah Most High, these pompous leaders always proclaim, We seriously question the authenticity of your message. These complacent ones always reason the same way. Since we are so abundantly endowed with wealth and children, why should we be subject to any divine warning? The source of wisdom tests one some souls with abundance and others with provisions. 
But most persons are not aware that their condition in the world at every moment is a subtle trial and teaching from Allah Most High. Those who claim as their own possession the abundance Allah Most Merciful has granted them must learn that affluence and offspring are not signs of nearness to the ultimate source. The real sign of blessedness is the constant turning toward the source of love that transforms every thought and action into an expression of divine love. The truly blessed ones, whatever their earthly wealth or power, receive inwardly from the ever-present source treasures beyond all conception and imagination. Plunging through the sleep of death, they will awaken constantly, instantly, and Abide on the most exalted levels of awareness in paradise, deep within the loving embrace of Allah Most High. Meditation on Holy Quran 34, 40, 34 to 37. Satan, my dear humanity, please listen carefully. The promise of Allah Most High that the noble way of Islam leads directly into the divine radiance is the living truth. If your heart and mind remained, Remain grounded in this simple and essential certitude and elaborate attractions of earthly life can no longer divert and defraud you. Con continue to strengthen your spiritual commitment so that Satan, the deluding force of self-centered intelligence, cannot veil from you the source of wisdom. The sub subtle force called Satan is your only real enemy. Recognize clearly as dangerous adversary this living, archetype of arrogance in all its manifestations, the call of Satan beguiles human beings into negating the source of love and eventually leads them to what most terrible purification, the sleep of death, which dreams the magnificent splendor of Allah to be an eternally blazing fire. This final chastening alone can clear way away the chronic negation of love, but those who live only by affirming love, allowing this sublime affirmation to pervade all their thoughts and actions will be soothing during earthly life by the healing forgiveness that flows from the source of love and will awaken after the death of the limited self to the limitless treasure of love. My beloved Muhammad, your tender heart is concerned about those persons whose negative actions have been made to appear so beautiful by the force of delusion that they sincerely believe these actions to be good. Understand that Allah alone mysteriously leads those particular souls through spiritual distor distortion so they may draw upon themselves the experience of purification just as Allah alone empowers other souls to resist the wails of arrogance. My beloved, do not waste the strength of your being, which you should use to call humanity back to the source of love by lamenting the spiritual tendency of any person. Allah alone knows how to guide all souls without exception along the most mysterious path of purification, which returns to them to their own true source. Meditation on Holy Quran 35, 5-8 Resurrection My noble messenger, please remind human beings that the source of power regenerates their organic existence in the womb from the most minute drop of earthly substance. Forgetting this humble beginning and their total dependence on the source of power, they become so blinded by self-importance that they come into open conflict with Allah Most High or even reject entirely the sovereignty of the ultimate source, elevating their own limited concepts and worshipping them instead of Allah. Such persons lose touch with the intuitive understanding that their very being originates only from the source of being. Those who actively deny their own true source are gradually permeated by aggressive negation. Concerning the higher manifestation of the human form in paradise, they will remark with irony, our bones which have become dust beneath the earth going to function again, my beloved, enlighten such darkened minds with my divine words, the body in paradise will emanate from the same source of life that has projected this earthly body and that consciously radiates all the vast realms and levels of creation. Consider how from a green tea 
tree, the source of power brings forth golden flame after the wood is cut and kindled. So is the green tree of the earthly body through the power of all merciful one transformed into the luminous body that dwells in paradise. Urge people to consider whether the supreme source who clearly emanates the entire planetary realm is not able to emanate higher planes of being as well. They will realize intuitively that this must be possible for Allah who simply by knowing all beings creates all beings. Whatever Allah most high wishes to manifest, he calls into existence by the primordial command, B, the brightness of being shines from Allah alone. His hand of merciful power shapes every event, and the very nature of creation is to praise and to return into the source of creation. Meditation on Holy Quran 3677-83 The Unsurpassable Victory those who dedicate their lives to the loyal service of love will be welcomed in the unimaginable honor by Allah Most High into His boundless divine awareness. Experienced by these souls as vast gardens of bliss where the fruits of wisdom flourish, these companions of divine love will gaze into each other's eyes as they recline with dignity and calm on royal thrones of profound contemplation. The holy cup of love's communi communion will be passed continuously among them, filled from the cool and abundant fountain of divine presence. This delightful drink of sheer brightness opens the spirit entirely. Without the slightest distortion of earthly intoxication, the beauty of Allah Most High will be manifest as clear-eyed maidens, their ecstasy and purity of heart more rare and protected than eggs hidden away by great birds in deep desert sands. Embracing the perfect spiritual friendship, these blessed souls converse together, resolving each other's most profound questions with divine wisdom. The ever-present source, who is now speaking, hears their words, cherished friend, what has become of that person who, during earthly existence, constantly mocked at my confidence in the guidance of Holy Quran, ridiculing my conviction that when the body falls asleep in death, the soul awakens into eternal realms of subtle experience that mirror its temporal career. The luminous companion replies, gaze for a moment into the lower realms of divine awareness. The soul looks and immediately recognizes the particular person lost in the delirium that the dreams of divine radiance as the fire of hell, the spiritually exalted soul calls out to the soul being purified. Greetings in the holy name of Allah most merciful. You are the one who attempted to under undermine my conviction with your lack of conviction. Except for the blessings that flow from the source of love, I would be with you now in your terrible trial of purification. Now you know that there is a death beyond death as well as life beyond life. You must die entirely to the limited self. This is the meaning and purpose of your chastening. To lose oneself and to merge into love is the unsurpassable victory. May all souls eventually attain this supreme union. Meditation on Holy Quran 37, 42, 40, 61 Primal Arrogance the ultimate source who is now speaking proclaimed before time to the vast circle of heavenly beings gaze upon the mystery of divine power. I will now evolve from mere clay a living being who will be the crown of my entire creation. When I have shaped humanity most intricately, breathing into it my own life as it so, you must all prostrate prayerfully before this unique vessel of my living spirit. When this supreme mystery of divine manifestation was accomplished, countless ranks of angels and lesser heavenly beings bowed in graceful unison, all except the etheric Ibis, Iblis, who was the first being to become infected with pride and to exist in the mode of negation. For the spiritual instruction of all conscious beings, Allah Most High inquired, 
Iblis, what strange impulse has prevented you from offering reverence to the most remarkable of all creations, the only being whom I have touched and shaped directly with my own hands of love and power? The one blinded by arrogance responded, You evolved my exalted form from etheric energy and this human form from mere earthly substance. I am more refined and cannot bow before what is less refined. Allah Most High declared, You have decisively turned away from the source of wisdom and have become infused with your own negativity, which will cling to you until the terrible purification. Iblis demanded, Allow me to operate freely until the day of judgment dawns. Allah Most Wise then de de decreed, Iblis will exist until the end of time. Intoxicated with pride, primal arrogance, then proclaimed to be the exalted creator through the subtle intelligence which I have received from you, I will draw human beings away from their own true source into the constant service of their limited selves. Only your most dedicated lovers will escape my way, way whilst the source of wisdom responded to Iblis, you are part of my mystery, of my infinite mercy. You will lead countless human beings along the way of return through the purifying fire of hell. These are your arrogant followers who could never gently and humbly walk along my path of surrender, but all souls will return only to me. Meditation on Holy Quran 3871 to 85. The constant touch. The person whose innermost heart has been opened by the source of love and whose whole being has been expanded to embrace the holy way of Islam shines as a clear ray of light from the source of light. But those who allow their hearts and minds to close and harden against the constant touch of divine presence wander through the obscure chaos of impulse and error. My beloved, through you the source of wisdom radiates these most beautiful teachings as the coherent tapestry of the living Quran that interweaves divine warning and divine promise. When this resonant Quran is chanted, those holy in all of Allah Most High will feel their bodily bodies trembling subtly, not just the spiritual heart but the entire being including every pore of the skin will become sensitive to the constant touch of divine presence. Such delicate sensitivity alone can receive direct guidance from the source of love, an experience that cannot be attained by effort, but that arises mysteriously through the will of Allah alone. Those whom Allah most wise allows the illusion of wandering away from the ever-present source cannot experience this direct and vibrant sense of the divine embrace. Meditation on Holy Quran 39, 22-23 The Day of Truth Without the guidance of, the, of divine revelation, human humanity cannot truly sense the awesome reality of Allah most sublime. My beloved Muhammad, please teach your people to contemplate this way. On the day of truth, when the spectrum of manifest being returns into the clear light of the source of being, the entire temporal realm of life-bearing planets will be lifted up in Allah's hand of power, and the seven heavenly planes of eternal praise will be gathered together in His hand of love. All the radiance of temporal and eternal being streams from and returns to Allah alone, who is infinitely more exalted than any human conception or description. On the mystic day, the call of truth will resound like a magnificent cosmic trumpet, and all creatures in the heavenly spheres and earthly regions will be thrown deep into ecstatic trance, save those who are in perfect conscious attunement with the will of Allah Most High. Then the overwhelming resonance of truth will sound forth a second universal call, and all the beings who have ever come into being will awaken directly into the presence of Allah and will rise up in the resurrection of love, gazing with all upon the source of love. The spiritual earth upon which they stand will be composed purely of light from the source of light. The transcendent Quran will descend 
like a brilliant sun, all the people, noble prophets and the devout witnesses to their prophethood will be gathered in radiant forms, and the variations among sacred traditions will be evaluated in the light of the supreme unity. No soul will be treated unjustly, and each will receive from Allah most merciful the eternal fruits of the particular level of wisdom and love it att attained. For the ultimate source knows most intimately all that these countless souls have experienced. Meditation on Holy Quran 39, 67 to 70.